Howdy folks, welcome to the last video of Bullford 82 for the year. Uh, I sort of kind of signed out on the last video, but nobody watched it. Um, so there's that. Um, I've got a couple of issues with the junk truck here. Um, and in case you're not familiar with the junk truck, um, this is a truck I bought from the junkyard, uh, shoot, three, four years ago. And I've been picking away at it a little bit here and there. And, um, well, this year I really put the, put the old elbow grease into it and, uh, spent a lot of money on it. Um, I had blown up the engine. Oops, lost a freeze plug. They brought it out, blew it out, and I drove it <laughs> 10, 15 miles, and it, yeah, it's not good. The engine, even though it wasn't blown, or prior to being blown up, definitely still had some wear and had some miles on it. So when I did take it apart, other than the damage I caused, there was still uh, lots of ring wear and, and uh, just evidence of being a little tired. It's been put through the through the paces so it was gonna need to be freshened up anyways and so I went ahead and I had uh, the engine block bored out 30 over uh, completely machined everything just checked and cleaned up and of course it got hot tanked and got all the mud and stuff out of it from just having nasty coolant rebuilt the cylinder heads I didn't do anything fancy with them I just had them it was 450 bucks to have both heads just new valves springs seals angle grind, all that fun stuff. And then it's running my, uh, not, well, I didn't make it. Uh, the Ford Racing uh, intake manifold, it was like the only one I can get during COVID. It was like 200 some dollars. It seems to run pretty good with it, so I'm happy with it. Um, I've got a uh, Comp Cams 268H uh, camshaft in this thing. Double roller timing, uh, no plastic stuff. That's all. That was pretty much trash. It's not a roller. It's a hydraulic flat tappet. Um, so far, I've gotten pretty lucky about not uh, not flat spotting the cam. Um, in fact, I didn't even really break it in properly. I just I just ran it and gave it about 1,500 RPM, and you know, hey, still running good. I've got uh, probably a few thousand miles on it. Probably got at least 5,000 if not more. I've been driving it quite a bit and we've been using the crap out of it for hauling stuff because it just does so well and it's comfortable and the air conditioning works. Um, this has got the Holly Sniper EFI on it and it has the um, Sniper EFI slash MSD um, electronic distributor which is controlled by the um, EFI. Really nice. Really nice having that. Um, I can change the timing uh, from the driver's seat. It's pretty sweet. Anyways, um, sometime after I put this on there, um, just driving around, just fantastic. But I've been having a slight issue trying to figure its idle out and figure out the idle air control valve. And on top of that, I get this, this vacuum leak noise when I get about half throttle in. And the other day, I think I figured out where the leak's coming from. Because when I was running this thing, it was stone cold. It's like 30 degrees out. Um, I had, of course, normal steam coming out of the exhaust, condensation burning off. And I had it coming out the sides here, um, below the uh, spacer uh, under the throttle body. And on each side, it has uh, ports for the... Um, uh, exhaust gas uh, recirculation because I didn't plug any of that up. Okay, so on this intake manifold, it has ports in there for EGR, but from what I remember, it's blocked off here. Um, so the EGR will never work with this uh, manifold, um, but right in here, you see what I see? See that little dark spot? That right there, that's where the uh, port coming out of the head goes into the intake manifold. And I think what's happening, yeah, let me go get a flashlight. Yeah, that's it right there. 
we got a small exhaust leak there. And I see a little bit down, down yonder, right, right there. So what I'm gonna have to do is we're gonna have to pull, well, we're gonna pull everything now. We have to pull the intake off. That sucks, I just sealed this and got it all topped off with coolant. Whatever. So what we'll have to do is uh, I say we'll pull the intake out and then of course I'm going to get new gaskets, clean all that up and redo it. But I think what we'll do is maybe make some kind of uh, like a restrictor plate and we'll we'll sandwich it in there between the uh, between the intake manifold and the head or make a little piece that we fold up and press in there. Um, it's really the only thing I can think of think of doing. What I, I kind of wish I would have inquired to see if that machine shop who rebuilt the heads would just weld those up. That would have been kind of nice. Like just plug them up. Something. So I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do there. Um, I don't really want to put anything in there you know on top of the gasket because then you're going to change the clearance there and possibly crack the manifold or whatever so interesting so I thought this was going to be a uh, you know pull the uh, throttle body off and and whatnot so I think I'm getting a, some kind of vacuum leak through there and because I'm getting a vacuum leak through there because the exhaust is going to pull air through I think that's messing with my it's messing with the O2 sensor and it's causing the computer to compensate for it which is really bringing my fuel economy down I'm down to like 12 miles to the gallon with this thing uh, which is kind of annoying but you know it still runs and drives really good and it's got all kinds of power um, I'm you know really happy with it so looks like I got a slight builder mistake there that I'll need to take care of I think it'll be fairly easy so one thing I want to do with this truck while I got time I bought brake pads for Betty before it got went on its journey to Kentucky and uh, had a little issue with the brake calipers not wanting to squeeze in so they still have really good brake pads on it and uh, just went ahead and said hey you know what we'll take care of this later brakes are good um, I bought really expensive brake pads for it too these are like almost a hundred bucks I think what I'm gonna do is because these are the same for this truck also we're gonna plop those in because I got some just crappy brake pads in here and it's just not the greatest and uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and also bleed the brakes on this thing too so that's what we're gonna do next well it's the next day um, where we left off in this video I ended up I ended up making a live video out of it so the start of this video turned into a live video today what I want to do on the live video I put in new front brake pads because um, the ones I was running they're kind of crappy and from uh, just stuff that they were just brake pads I laying around but I had bought some new brake pads as I mentioned earlier for my 82 F-150 that I sold and no longer have it's now in Kentucky in case you guys missed that little video that nobody watched um, so anyways, um, in that live video we put brake pads in, tinkered with the truck, and kind of kind of bullshitted a little bit. So that was kind of fun. I have something I want to do to this truck because I've had this stuff for a while now. And that's I want a vent shade because that's what Betty had. And we got window seals. Well, this should be a fun job. We need cross point. We need a T20, something like that. T25 don't fit. <clears throat> Some kind of prying apparatus. <clears throat> and then, go on an LMC truck and get you a whole bunch of these. That's for putting the door back together. Uh, let's get this window crank out of here. It uses this little guy. And then we got a Phillips head right here. That's loose. Doesn't tighten up anymore. 
take this thing out. I'll have to see what's going on there. It might need a speed clip. Oh yeah, that's not even not even connected anymore. See how floppy this thing is now? She won't even she won't barely held in, holding on. Get this door handle out of here somehow. Just like that. Now I'm doing the seal kit. I'm not gonna take this off because I end up breaking the door panel, so we'll leave this alone. Pop out these old uh, nasty clips. We got brand new ones. Can't reach in there. Perfect. I got something. Rattling in here. I don't know what it is. Uh, let's get that crank down. Now the window, the winder, the window regulator is just absolutely perfect in this thing. It's been a while since I've done this. Uh, what we'll do is we'll. Pop this thing out without breaking my window. You just hear how crispy that is. Oh my god. get the shot back in there and scratch the paint. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what we got here? What we got here? Well, I know this cost me like $200, give or take. All new window molding. So what we need is that's gonna be for the passenger side. And you get two new door panel molds, but we're not gonna use that. I think this is the one we need. Yeah, look at that. Brand new. Let's see how fun this is to click in. I know on Betty it was uh, not so fun. Oh, you know what? Let's wait on this. Let's get this, uh, what's left of our uh, window track out of here. This should be fun. Crying on it, it's crumbling. Oh god, this is gonna be fun. How am I gonna get this out of here? I don't recommend using a metal screwdriver and pry up against your paint. Can we can we break it up a little bit? Wow, this is going to be fun. Wow. 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 <laughs> 
Look at that, it's just like a rock, wrong brand. Like a rock, nothing ever got to me, like a rock. Wow. Well, this is putting up a fight. Everything is so sharp. Wow. So I got all this out. This, I mean, you're just chiseling. Just chiseling. It's the other side. I'm, mm. the problem is I got the glass right here. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to shatter it. So, um, this one is going to be fun. Can I just remove it? I think I can actually just remove this. Let's remove it and then, because it just kind of floats up here and has a little lock, lock tab on it. Now we can get that out. So if I'm lucky, I can just work it out with my screwdriver here. Okay. Well, before we put that seal in, let's. Carefully roll this down. Okay. Let that float around. Okay. Probably what I will do is I'll put this track back in there and then, you know, yeah. Oh, we gotta put the uh, vent visor in first. Vent visor, window visor. Comes with these. Freaking teeny screws. Yeah, I've had these for a while now. Just for a while. Left front. Okay. Pretty much go in like that. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll uh, mark it and drill it with a teeny, teeny, itty bitty drill bit. A one sixteenth drill bit. This is fun. I wonder if I can just, you know, put the thing up there, drill the hole, put a screw in. So what if we just put that up there like that and then drill the hole. That didn't work. That, that was a smart move there. That was a good move there, Cotton. I'm getting dizzy. That's, that angle's not gonna work for me.
Yeah, there we go. Alright, for my next plan of attack. Wrong screwdriver, Jimmy. Um, someone had painted this truck at some point, and it is just not... It's not good. Oh, that's looking nice already. I'll take my heat gun later and I'll scrape off that sticker. In case anybody's worried about that. So that sits in there pretty good. So that's what it's looking like. I'm happy with that. It's not going to be perfect, obviously. That, that was never going to work. So, I got one back here. And honestly, where's the other hole at? I can barely feel anything with my fingers. I think there's one right here. Or what if we made our own, just drill one right in the center. Like right here where it wants to stick down and then we just call it a day. Well, there's a hole right here already done. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna leave that track out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed this somehow down there. Do we have some lube we can spray? We'll just hit this real quick. This piece is gonna fit up into this corner. So we should be able to just push this in. We got some Tony Shalhoub on it, so it should go pretty easy. We'll feed that down there. Gonna have to clean the window. Oh no. So it's like, it's like that. that. Having that lube on there really helps out. This part is going to be sort of an issue, specifically right in here. You're just going to have to work her in there. So something like that. Pretty much if you do something like this, you should be able to work it in there. You just got to squeeze it like this. Fitting up there, not too bad. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start with the edge that has the vent shade and see if I can't. work it in. This does turn into one of those things where you have to swear a little bit and then maybe walk away and have a cigarette. It's funny, I turned the camera off and it starts going better, easier. This actually went in not too bad. It feels a little lumpy, but I think it just needs to get massaged a little bit. And so on the vent shade, I've got a screw here and a screw here, and then this seal, once it gets pushed up in here, it actually locks the middle of the uh, vent shade up against the frame. So um, I'm not worried about putting the other screws in. So my advice is just get a screw here, screw here, and then your seal, when it goes in, holds it up the rest of the way. You're good to go. <clears throat> so 
this one, I think I might spritz this. Yeah, I'm gonna do the other side tomorrow. I'll do that off camera, I'll spare you. And then we'll put the track in and then we'll just, we'll, we'll do it, we'll just get it done. So what if we just fed that down there? down there. It's pretty slippery. Now when you crank it up like this, this will just mm, everything in there. Okay, so now we just need to put that track in there. And this track has to go up under that seal. So here's a little trick. <clears throat> Remember how I did this last time. So you get this track back in there and then you just get this started a little bit and then you roll your window up and then as you roll the window down you push. It kind of works. I've also left this loose, so I'm gonna try and push some down. As soon as I turn the camera on, it's like, nope. What I might do is put some more lube down there. Just lube her up. Yeah, the lube. You gotta have the lube. Yeah, there we go. Alright, roll it up. It rolls up really nice. Squeeze that back in there. Okay, that was tricky, wasn't it? Okay, roll it down. And then you squeeze this back in. You just gotta find out what method works best for you. This is being a little stubborn. These doors are also not made, uh, you know, the best. I'm just... Actually, not too bad. How does it feel rolling up? It feels great. Stretch this gasket, rolls down real good. I like it. All right, let's tighten up this bottom piece. We're gonna pull it in tight where it was before. It rolls down just as good as it did before. Roll up good. Nice. Okay. Yeah, the window's nice and snug in there, but it can move freely. Cool, that wasn't too bad. That was easier than getting the old crap out. This piece should be easy. It just snaps in. However, you will find that this part is going to be a little, you know, special. So we'll just get the clips in here started. I 
I had to finagle this end and bend it a little bit. get it to fit halfway decent so you gotta kind of do one of those I really do apologize for the sniffles well that that sure fixes a lot The only thing I don't like is this seal for the uh, vent shade is kind of special. I think the the door is a little okay. Rolls up. Does that even contact the window? Why it does? Yeah, the middle of the door is bowed in. I'm not sure how I'm gonna fix that. Yeah, that, that feels good. This needs to get wore in and it needs to have a couple of summers. And yeah. It's up against the window, except for right here where the door bows in, but God, that'll do. That looks much better. All right, let's see what we gotta do to put a new speaker in. All right, we got factory 1985 speakers. The uh, radio speakers did work. I'm gonna have to go blow my nose. I don't think I've taken these out. Oh, nope, I have not. Oh yeah, crunch. <laughs> wow. Yep, original factory Ford. Paper cone is pretty much toast. <laughs> All right, so here's my JBLs that I had in uh, Betty for, shoot, since the day I got it, really. So these are JBLs, um, I don't know what they say anymore. Um, but these are, yeah, these are up there in the years. Uh, coming on, well, I bought it in 2012, I have 11 years. These are 11 years old and we're gonna throw them right back in. Why not? So they fit. They, they, they got some room. I think what I'm gonna do. Oh, my legs. They're so sore from the live video just getting up and down. I haven't done that in a while. That's what she said. Nice. Hey, that looks pretty good. 
some of my finest work. So what we need to do here, so we got none down there. We need to pull some of these off. Got to grab it like that. And then we got to grab this one. That one. garbage can is Get that one out of there now I've been out here for a few hours working on this find out the speakers don't work because I didn't wire it right I'm like oh man <sighs> click I don't know if I have enough of these for the passenger side This is why you start with the driver's side. Because you know, who cares about the passenger side? Passenger side is just the, that's, that's the vent for all the stuff from the driver. You, know, you got some leaks there, no big deal. Got new push pins. The moisture out here is just ridiculous right now. This is why I'm glad I have vehicles with working air conditioning. Because otherwise... <clears throat> you know, you just... nothing dries up. Okay, click. I might have just enough to do the other door panel. I might have some, some more of these floating around. They're so cheap on uh, LMC truck, I just bought like, I don't know, 30 or 40 of them at a time. Cool. Now let's uh, annoyingly hang this. Nice. It's so close. Hey, hey, I got it. <laughs> oh, the door sounds normal now. Hey, there we go. Perfect. Okay. I like these hang down like that with the window all the way up <laughs> 
snug. Make sure it doesn't catch. Man, this just, this rolls so good now. I might hit it with some extra lube, but that's just nice. Cool. That's it, tubes. I like it. Yep. We've got new weather stripping. We've got new push pins. We got weather moisture barrier. We got new speaker. Good to go. Of course, my head's totally cut off. All right, well, I'm gonna call it this video. I had a little bit of struggle. My fault, oops. But I'm happy with the door situation now. This interior piece, it's a little, eh. I've got the piece to replace it if we have to, but for now, I'm gonna leave it. Um, I'm more worried about the outside. So we got the outside, you know, in good shape. We got the new window track in here, so now our window won't rattle around and it'll hopefully seal nice and uh, yeah it's as good as this thing's gonna get I am gonna do the other side off camera yeah I'll spare you that but uh, yeah and I got my vent shade I'm real happy about the vent shade that's that's a nice touch um, yeah I'll do the other side tomorrow and also get that weather stripping replaced and I think that's all I'm gonna do to this truck until I get back from Taiwan, so. And I'm going there for training, and hopefully China doesn't invade. That'd, that'd kinda suck. Well, never coming back. <laughs> Any hoos, that's it for Jimbo here. I'm gonna clean up and uh, call it a night. See you guys next year.